Hey guys, today's a chatty video. I just wanted to sit down in front of the camera and have a little, you know, discussion about some questions that I thought you'd like to hear about really, no matter whether you're blind or you're not. Um, because a lot of people ask me them. And Ollie has promised me that now we'll be inserted a graphic of what I can see, sort of, from what I've described to him. So, like, I'll, I'll try and describe it as he puts it on, so insert it now. Um, the bottom left, this is me looking out, so the bottom left is very, very, very blurry. The whole half top of my eye is completely black, and then the bottom right is has got a big blob in the like right in the centre of my eye that is a lighter um, black if you like um, and then it's like ripples it looks like the sea but black and um, if you if you guys have ever seen the sea um, and it basically obstructs my vision there are a lot of flashy lights as well it's like looking into a light bulb all the time um, and sometimes that does wake me up in the night but um, yeah, it's just not very pleasant. But I do still have a few little blobs now and again. At the moment this is a shot of, as I would see, of Ollie's flat in his halls at university, as I am here. Um, hopefully this is an okay representation, but obviously I can't see it, so it's just from description. Um, but yeah, obviously all different blind people see all different things and I'm not you know one to say this is what everyone sees because obviously everyone is different there are lots of forms of being blind there's partial sightedness there's almost being blind like me or there's completely blind never have seen anything never have you know you can't comprehend colour whereas I can I still sort of remember so um, it's a tricky one because there are all walks of life out there but um, I thought it would be interesting for you guys to see, well, catch a glimpse maybe of what I can see. Um, and obviously if you watch or have watched this YouTube channel for a bit, it's some of how I cope um, and to help you guys cope hopefully. Um, and now I'm going to move into my flat in two weeks now, um, two to three. Oh, at the end of October I'm definitely moving in, I know I've been telling you guys for ages that I'm moving in. Um, but it's definitely a date is set for October um, and because my kitchen is absolutely crazily amazing for blind people I will show you around it and do some cooking videos which I'm really excited for because I've been planning them for ages so I hope you guys are like that. A lot of people also ask me can I still draw or can I still write and the answer is well if someone gives me a piece of paper I haven't forgot to write my name but my brain has sort of replaced letters with braille and it's really weird I guess it's like if you learn a language if your first language is English and then you learn French I guess um, it suddenly becomes a bit like oh you switch it in your mind but and one overrides the other when you're in certain situations but I don't know because I can't really see too well anymore um, I've replaced the dots with well I've replaced the letters with dots so um, L is dot one, two and three for me now instead of a line <laughs> so yeah and I'll just pan to a shot of me trying to write obviously someone has to put the pen to the paper um, hopefully I've done pretty well for you guys but now I'm going to try and draw a cat but it is very hard for me to actually get the things you know, get the eyes and the nose and the mouth all in one, like, all in one vicinity. Um, I guess that's not the right word, but all in one, I don't know, all in the right places, I guess. Um, because of my depth perception and not being able to see it properly and then I forget where I've drawn the eye and all sorts of things. <laughs> but yeah, it's quite funny. I wanted to tell you guys of an event that I am going to for the charity RLSB, the Royal London Society for the Blind and they are really trying to hone in on, I mean, young people with sight loss. Um, it's an amazing charity. It's their event, 
It's at London City Hall from 10am till 6pm and I'm going to be doing a stand there, a makeup stand, just to do tutorials on myself really, to recommend great products that are easy and accessible to everyone who can't look in a mirror maybe or just want easy makeup advice. So I'm preparing a list that I'm going to write, um, I'll write it on my blog too but it'll go to everyone in the event so they can purchase all my recommendations if they want to. I mean, it's just what works for me. I'm not saying that I'm an expert on it, but if you guys find it useful, then who's to complain, really? This event should be amazing, and the day should be really good. Um, other than my stand, there are going to be lots of people there, like Barclays Cash Machines, which I've also mentioned on this channel. Um, there's going to be a stand for like male dress maybe and there's going to be talks and all sorts of stuff from the charity and there's going to be a pack that you can take away so I'd love to see as many of you go to it as possible because it's amazing and I might see you there and yeah I think that's what I have to say guys this is my chatty video um, uh, just let me know if you like these chatty videos in the comments because it really interests me to know what sort of videos you guys like the best. Makeup, chatty, answering questions, I don't know, but let me know. Okay then guys, um, don't forget to email me, because you can. Um, tweet me, um, you can look at my Tumblr and my blog, which are connected, which is wishesforyesterday.wordpress.com. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and I will see you very soon guys. Bye!